The National Highway Safety Administration says that so far, self-driving cars have more accidents compared to traditional vehicles. But AAA predicts that with a record 60.6 million people driving over the Independence Day holiday, there will be nearly 600 road deaths as reported by the National Safety Council. And almost 40% will involve alcohol. But guess what driver doesn't drive drunk? A driverless car. Autonomous vehicles are often held to high safety standards, but let's not forget the real danger, human drivers, especially on holidays like the 4th of July. That's why correlation counts. Safety concerns are making a world of driverless cars seem like a fairy tale to the average American. But engineers are making advances through fast paced white knuckle driving research. Located at the world famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the Indy Autonomous Challenge is a head to head high speed race for the world's fastest autonomous race cars, piloted by AI driver software, developed by the next generation of automotive, robotics, and AI innovation. Representing 18 top universities from North America, Europe, and Asia, these 10 teams compete in a series of challenges for a $1 million cash prize. We're helping prove technology out uh, that is going to make it onto uh, cars and vehicle systems uh, to allow people to drive more safely at highway speeds. So we don't just need autonomous vehicles to work as robo-taxis, we need them to work at speeds on highway. That means this scenario may be closer than we think. So how how do these AI powered autonomous race cars work? The Dallara AV21 is one of the most advanced autonomous race cars capable of traveling speeds of over 170 miles per hour. There is no driver, just state of the art sensors and computers. These computers process massive amounts of data, making split second decisions based on millions of data points. Cameras, radar, and LIDAR detect other autonomous vehicles and obstacles around the track in real time. The Dallara can measure everything from wheel speeds, tire temperatures, and more. All of the university team's autonomous race cars have the same capabilities as the Dallara, but it's the unique software written by the university teams that gives them a shot at winning this race while helping to advance technology in the process. Motorsports is a great proving ground for a young engineer to understand how to solve problems under pressure and all of that brain power is going to then make its way into the industry. And the AI-driven autonomous car industry will be better off because of these young engineers. Hey, maybe Tesla will even hire some of them. Are you listening out there, Elon? In March of 2023, a North Carolina student stepped off a school bus and was struck by a Tesla Model Y. The 51-year-old driver had activated full self-driving and autopilot, Tesla's advanced driver assist feature, but CBS News reported that Tesla's operating system was partially to blame. Yes, there are many companies working on autonomous vehicles, but they're using synthetic data, which is typically gathered by creating virtual environments that simulate real-world conditions just like a video game. Tesla, on the other hand, is collecting data in a very different way with the help of AI. Right now, over 500,000 Teslas across the globe are feeding data back to Tesla headquarters to train their autonomous car algorithms. Internal and external sensors track Teslas in various situations, collecting data on driver behavior, pedestrian reactions, and metrics like how often the steering wheel or dashboard are touched. Tesla uses imitation learning where algorithms learn from the decisions, reactions, and movements of millions of drivers worldwide. This data will create highly intelligent autonomous cars. So what does this all mean? It means that Tesla's FSD technology is an AI tracking system that is highly advanced. When a Tesla misjudges the behavior of a car or cyclist, it saves a data snapshot, adds it to the data set, and creates a color-coded abstract representation of the scene so the neural network can can learn from it. Tesla may use some synthetic information, but it's their method of collecting real-world data that propels them ahead of other companies in the race 
to put self-driving cars on our highways. Of course, race car drivers can never be replaced, but innovation led by the young and well-established engineers of today can make a brighter and safer future for drivers everywhere. Just kidding, this is not an autonomous vehicle, but if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. And oh yeah, happy 4th of July, everyone.